God's unique way, he created Eve, and choosing to use the rib of Adam, it is suggested that Eve be created to share at Adam's side, close to his heart, one man for one woman, until death do them part. It is my honor at this time to ask who gives this woman to be married to this man. celebrate with her in joy, and to live only to her. You, Chris, do you accept Tanner now to be your husband, with his weaknesses, with his strengths, to be loyal to him in health or illness, to share all that you have and who you are, to trust when you misunderstand, to weep with him in sorrow, and it speaks of the purity of real love. It is a seal of the vows you will now take. As you do that, say these words, with this ring, with this ring I, pledge I pledge my faith and trust as a visible symbol, as a visible symbol of my vows and love, of my vows and love to, you. to you. I promise to love you, I promise to love you and keep these, vows keep these vows for as long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. As, turn. as you put the ring on his third finger of his left hand, you will say, with this ring, with this ring I, pledge my faith and trust I pledge my faith and trust as a visible symbol, a visible symbol of my vows, my vows and, love and love to you. To you. I, promise to love I promise to love and keep my vows, keep my vows for, as long for as long as we both shall live. As we both shall live. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> wonderful. <laughs> also, while this couple was uh, planning their wedding here, they wanted to also construct a unity cross here uh, before you today as a symbol of their love for one another. I'm going to step aside and explain as they perform this together. They will assemble the unity cross as a beautiful sculpture today, and it will be in their home to remind them of the covenant they're making. In Genesis chapter 1 we read where God created man in his own image. That means that he created a man to be bold and strong and a leader and to be the protector of his wife and family. The outer form of this unity cross represents the strength, leadership, and protection of that man. The book of Ephesians reminds husbands to love their wives as Christ loves the church, totally and completely giving himself for her. The base of the sculpture re represents the cornerstone of God's presence that will support this covenant. As well, in Genesis chapter 2, verses 20 through 23, it tells us that woman was taken from the man. The bride's peace of the unity cross represents the beauty and the many capabilities of the woman, designated with intricate, beautiful detail, and is placed inside the protection of the groom's cross, completing the sculpture representing two becoming one. The rugged cross in the center displays that Christ is the center of their faith. To complete this sculpture, representing the couple's covenant and are placing three pegs to hold it together. These pegs represent the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, showing God's place in the covenant and in the security and the completeness that only the Heavenly Father can give. The pegs are carved out to be like spikes used in the crucifixion as a reminder of His love that was poured out for us and how that love will hold this couple together through all things. The Holy Scriptures tells us a three three strand cord is not easily broken. Matthew chapter 9, 19, verses 5 through 6 says, For this reason a man shall leave his father and mother and be united to his wife. The two shall become one flesh. So therefore, God and these witnesses today, by the power vested in me through the Holy Spirit, and this state is my honor to now pronounce you husband. And wife. Tanner, you may kiss your brother. Oh. Get over here. <laughs> <laughs>
and Tanner, I welcome you and thank you for gathering here on this beautiful day to witness their marriage ceremony. The fact that you all have traveled such a great distance to be here today is a testament to the amazing amount of love and support they have. Many of you have given them much happiness, warmth, and guidance to the various stages of their lives. They would like to sincerely thank you all for being here to celebrate their big day. Hopefully, I was able to provide this to my daughter. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay, daughter Lucas. But I would like to thank Tanner's parents. Tanner's parents. For the wonderful life they gave given Tanner. For the head for the hard work and guidance they have provided, for their everlasting love, support, and encouragement. It is from them that you learn the true meaning of love, friendship, and family. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much. Okay, um, I would like to introduce to you um, a very dear sister of mine. I haven't seen her for like more than 20 years. She lives in Australia right now, and she here. She's here just to celebrate today to be here on my daughter's wedding. I want to introduce to you my sister. Her name is Gina Hill. Good evening, everyone. Um, welcome to uh, the celebration, and I'm happy to be here. Eucharist is um, it's like our eldest daughter of the family, so it's really good to... Now I'm going to cry. I wasn't able to uh, be in the church this afternoon, so uh, it's the first time I've seen her. All right. Um, excuse my accent. If you can't understand some of my accent. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Filipino marriage. Weddings are celebrations of two families coming together, rather than just the two individuals. Marrying a Filipino woman means you've extended your arms, love, and affection beyond your spouse to her mom, dad, granddad, grandpa, auntie, like Tita, uncle, Titos, nieces, nephews, family friends, neighbors, <laughs> just about anyone and everyone in the family circle. They too will extend their love to you by considering you their son. Brother, yeah. uncle, you will be called uncle by more than more Pilipino people. You can remember everyone's like an extended family. Everyone's a brother. Filipino women are some of the most beautiful, loving, caring people you will encounter, obviously. I'm saying the obvious because you choose your wife, a life partner, wisely. I think. <laughs> Just remember, the Spanish genetic influence, hot-tempered, 
<laughs> it picks up every now and then. Then, this will explain the rare occasions you might not recognize your spots. True. You are very lucky because you, Chris, is Filipino and have Japanese. So the Spanish influence is about just a quarter. Look at the tap. So, so it's been diluted. <laughs> On a serious note, beyond beautiful, loving and caring, you are married to a very hard-working, devoted and loyal person. Your life with her will be one of joy and happiness. Her bright and welcoming smile will melt your heart every day and in the most difficult times. Just remember, when time gets tough, reflect on why you fell in love, why you choose to be together, and accept. Put ego and pride aside. Don't say things that you can't take back. Surround yourself with people who reflect your values. I wish you all joy. Happiness and prosperity in life has to offer. Mr. and Mrs. Um, no, it says Jeffrey Tanner. Jeffrey Tanner, brother. Families combined, yes, but a brand new family. So let's pray for them. You know what? They need our prayers, don't they? They need our support. We need each other. So let's pray together. Father, we're so thankful for your goodness to us. You are a wonderful God. How great thou art. And how much we love you, Lord, and how much we thank you for this day, for this occasion, for this gathering, Lord, for this crowd of people that's here to support this new family, this new couple. And God, help us always to be supportive to them. And I pray, God, that they'll have many, many days and years. And Lord, that you bless them in every way as they go on in love and in service to you. I pray, Lord, that you'd help each one of us to be faithful to you, Lord, and to anticipate and to be ready for the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, Lord, I Pray you bless this food and those that prepared it. God sanctify and help us, Lord, to be in your service and to be faithful, Lord. Amen. 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 Okay, guys, I uh, just want to let you know uh, that the napkins are souvenirs. Okay, you either use it or you take it home. Okay, at the back of the chair, you can see there's a paper bag right here for you guys to put your souvenirs, okay? And even the wine glass will be your souvenir, but don't, don't put it in the bag yet. Because we can use it for, for the toast. Okay, just a napkin, please. And there's cookies too. You can put the cookies too inside the bag. You can put the chair in the bag, you know. You can put the massage in the bag. You can put the person Okay. Okay, everyone, we would like to tell you too that you please bring your plate with you. Okay, there's a plate on the table. We already, I don't know, I don't know if we have enough, but just, you know, just to be safe, could you please bring your plate on the table?
2010, I think somewhere it's 2010 or 2011, I, the first time I saw you, Chris, was when she was sitting beside Ian. At that time, Ian was little, so she was assisting him, feeding him, I think. <laughs> I'm not sure, okay, or help her, help him to get food in the buffet line, okay? So, and I was really surprised to hear her speaking in Tagalog, because look at her, you, <laughs> first I'm like, she, she doesn't look like she could speak Tagalog, but I didn't know who was she related to, so, you know, I was quite surprised. Eucharist came to the United States in November 2009, so that would be 10 years in November. Growing up in Japan with her mom, she was quite fluent in Japanese and Tagalog, but she could not speak English. In Japan, they greet people by bowing, not hugging. So, for her, hugging is like an invasion of one's personal space. So it made her feel really uncomfortable. So, um, she also um, later on thought of returning to Japan. But I can say, I think everyone here is grateful that her plans changed especially Tanner. Um, in December 2011, her mother, Joni, decorated the venue for our annual Fakba Christmas party to the 19, uh, she decorated in the 1950s theme. This is an event, the Christmas party is where um, the Filipinos in the community look forward to each year. Joni's work is always as exquisite, involving a lot of details, and is a product of a lot of hours of work, hours of hard work. One of the decorations was to form an arch with balloons. Excuse me. Okay. Um, you need to blow up each balloon. How you do this, I don't know if you remember this, this was like four years, eight years ago. You blew up balloons, one by one, and you connect them, okay? You need to blow up each balloon, then tie the end and connect one balloon to another. They use lots of pink, black, white balloons, because it's to the 1950s theme. You Chris diligently help her mom quietly, without any complaint. She diligently made a smaller silhouette of people which she projected on a big piece of cardboard so she could draw a bigger picture. Um, she decorates her gourmet cookies with silhouettes if, if requested. Her, each cookie is a work of art. As many of you can see, I mean, I'm always amazed at how she can do all that in such a short time, okay? Eucharist helped her mom with the donut shop ever since Joni started it in 2012. According to Eucharist, Mr. Jeff and Don started coming to Daylight Donuts in 2013 and later brought their children, Tanner and Keaton. Is that correct? Yes. <laughs> okay. With, um, you, Chris, did not have a very, uh, a first good impression of Tanner. This is what she told me. <laughs> this is what she said. He seemed unfriendly and aloof. <laughs> Later, she realizes and attributes this to Tanner not being a morning person. <laughs> so they did start out as friends in social media. So that helped you, Chris, see that the relationship showed some promise. Tanner was patient, especially in guiding you, Chris, with her conversational English. She credits Tanner for trying to understand what she is trying to say and help her say that in English. So, um, so you, Chris, is trilingual or more than that. <laughs> So, you, she learned English, so she can speak now Japanese, Tagalog, and I don't know what other dialects she can speak. Bisaya. Uh, Bisaya. <laughs> and, and now English. So, to the top. 
toast them. As guests are filling up their glasses for a toast, you, Chris and Tanner, look around and remember the love and joy you feel today. Each year on the 30th of March, you will look back to this special day. Take a moment each year to measure and celebrate how much your love for each other has grown through the years. I know I am not alone when I say that I wish that God be with your new family. At this time, may I ask everybody to stand. And raise their, your glasses to toast you, Chris and Tanner, a couple that we all are very blessed to know. In behalf of both families, we raising our glasses to toast Mr. and Mrs. Tanner Rivet. May the joy and love you share today be the beginning of a lifetime of great happiness and fulfillment to a new beginning. Congratulations to you, Chris and Tam. Congratulations! Congratulations.
that my parents made through the decorations of volunteer man hours dedicated to this big day. Thank you all for the gifts, your time, your talents that have given to us today. Thank you everyone that brought food. It was a really good food back there, huh? Yes. yes. All, right. all right. Thank you to everyone for for dancing. I'm sure we are all very tired. I know I am. I'm, just, I'm thinking about that right now. Big thank you to Miss Joni for making all the flower vases on the table and the lanterns at the wedding and everything else that I might have missed today. Pretty much everything on these tables were made by her and her. Thank you all. Another big thank you. Yeah, come on. <laughs> Another big thank you to my beautiful wife, Eucharist, for making the gorgeous flowers on the big wall that is right behind me. I remember the, yeah, I remember the countless hours and months that she dedicated her time to this. Now she has a lot more free time. Maybe. <laughs> And they work really hard, so be sure to thank them. If you don't, I'm just taking your gift bag away. Ha <laughs> 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 ha <laughs> Seriously. Anyways. <laughs> thank you to everyone that traveled long distance to get to this wedding. We have people from Taiwan, people from the Philippines, Australia, Ireland, Germany. <laughs> from California, Chicago, Chicago, Illinois, and Norfolk, Norfolk Virginia. Now uh, here's a big, oh, Jackson, Biloxi, Meridian, Hattiesburg, Mississippi, that's all. All over the world. We hope everyone enjoys the gift bags. As you're leaving, be sure to get any food that you'd like to take home, if there is any left. I don't know if there's any left. Oh, there is? Okay, good. Take some home. I don't want to see it. Please. All right, and thank you to everyone that came today and drive safely. Be careful out there. Now, I'm just letting you know, Pedal PD is right here, and they do know we are here, a large group of people, so uh, they will be watching. So, yeah, please, be careful. And uh, in all seriousness, I just want to... Just thank you everyone for coming. It really means a lot. Okay, I would like to uh, make an acknowledgement to thank our photographers, MJ Lyons, Nina Hagen, and Asher, Miss Anne Boyce. Ophelia Reynolds, our buffet steward, Miss Nilda Evans, Marla Powell, Mr. and Mrs. Armand Calento, and uh, she's not, Mary Penn, she's not here anymore. And everyone, thank you so much for coming tonight. We all, we all